today we can do some uh, troubleshooting for each 110 Pro BTC Plus motherboards. Um, so if you don't get to display on the motherboard, um, you can take out the motherboard like this, uh, put on the box. Okay, uh, this is an anti-static bag on the bottom. Only put video cards, PC Express. I don't have a you know the expensive video card hookup. Just some simple video card just for testing. Okay, you take unplug all the adapters, um, unplug the power for this two, and um, only hook up the DDR4 RAM over here, and put the processor, uh, put the 24 pin and 4 pin, uh, 8 pins power, and connect the monitor, do some troubleshootings. First of all, we gonna do is um, we're gonna remove the memory from the slot take out okay so pull it back in make sure it's deep in the slot you can hear the click sound when you push the memory in so and then the second thing we're gonna do is uh, take out the batteries from here to do the clear CMOS sometimes if your settings run in the BIOS it could be have a uh, the, the motherboard is not start so you can put back the batteries Okay. And also, we need to do is uh, do the clear CMOS jumper. Um, uh, remove from two and three pin to one first pin, uh, one second pin. Okay, then after that, we put it back. Okay, the clear CMOS processing is done. Okay, let's try to fire the motherboards. Um, put the power switch on, and uh, you see over here just a uh, this first pin and second pin uh, is the power on switch. Sometimes people use the cable uh, uh, to jump on. I don't have the cable, um, so I'm gonna use the metal things to short these two pins. When you do short, the fan is turning on. Okay, let's see if we get display. Here we go. So the display on. Oh, that means it's good. Let's turn off the power supply. Sometimes, if you still don't have the display, you gotta check the either video card or memory has has a problem, or you gotta you know switch between two of them. And also, you gotta check the take out the processor. Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, we're gonna open this way, turn back, then you can be able to take out the processor. Okay, then you're gonna open the the hole here and take out the processor. Okay, then you're gonna check the pin. If you see the pin is damaged, if the pin is damaged, bent, or touched together, it could be because the, the motherboard is not start up. Okay. Another thing is very very important is if you connect the dirting of the video card for this. First of all, you need the uh, twelve hundred uh, watts power supply. Two of them. Uh, recommend is EVGA uh, P two power, and also you get a plug in two of the uh, plug over here for the for the from the power supply, and um, the video card. This from the SROC they say is A of the NVIDIA and the file of the ATI. If you put O NVIDIA O ATI, it's not gonna work. Okay, I think that's it. Thank you very much to watching video. Have a nice day.